she didn't put a foot wrong while performing her latest track Girls on Britain's Got Talent earlier in the evening. And Rita Ora let off some steam following the flawless display during a night out with Paris Jackson at the All Star Lanes in Shepherd's Bush, London. The songstress, 27, changed into a typically quirky ensemble before heading out with her pals for a night at the bowling alley. Rita put on a leggy display in an asymmetrical metallic dress in a bronze hue, which accentuated her toned pins. She covered her silk number with an oversized leather jacket which featured a comic strip panel as decoration across the bust, as well as being adorned in brightly colored jewels. Adding a more casual vibe to her look, Rita teamed it with a pair of white laced trainers. Also failing to stray from her usual style, Paris sported a hippie-inspired look, which included a pair of wide-legged floral trousers. She flashed a glimpse of her midriff in a one-shoulder crop top which she layered with a brown suede fringe jacket. The daughter of the late Michael Jackson also wore a plethora of necklaces which boasted vibrant tassels. Joining the two gal pals were some unlikely friends including former Toei stars Tom Kilby and Vaz J. Morgan. Before her night out Rita exuded confidence when she performed the controversial number, Girls, Live During Britain's, Got Talent on Wednesday. She apologized on social media after her latest track Girls sparked a backlash among the great and the good of the LGBTQ community. The Your Song hitmaker hit all the right style notes in her Garden of Eden-inspired ensemble when she stormed the stage. Wrapping her arms around her waist as she swayed her hips to the music, the musician drew attention to her incredibly slender waistline. The one-shoulder garment was also cinched at the waist with a huge golden belt, accentuating her hercless shape for all the audience to see. Rita looked sensational in her pleated dress, with the dramatic ruffles cascading down her phenomenal figure for a flirty vibe. The gorgeous songstress wore a tiara amid her flowing golden curls, injecting a hint of sparkle to her bronze garment. Rita performed her latest controversial track Girls after the singer discussed the meaning behind the catchy lyrics in an interview with People. The songstress, who has been dating songwriter Andrew Watt for more than a year, touched on her romantic experiences with men and women. Asked if the song linked to her sexuality, she told the publication, I knew people were going to look into it's like that. I definitely said it, because I can. And it was one of those things where, if I was 50 50 I'm not saying I'm 70 30 I'm 50 50 and I'm not gonna hide it. I'm not hiding what I am, who I am, if I wanna do this, if I wanna do that. That's just how it's gonna be. Despite meaning well, the Your Song hitmaker expressed her regret over unintentionally hurting members of the LGBTQ community with her lyrics. She wrote on Twitter, I am sorry how I expressed myself in my song which has hurt anyone. Hello everyone reading this. Girls was written to represent my truth and is an accurate account of a very real and honest experience in my life. She added, I have had romantic relationships with women and men throughout my life, and this is my personal journey. 
I would never intentionally cause harm to other LGBTQ plus people or anyone. Looking forward, I hope that continuing to express myself through my art will empower my fans to feel as proud of themselves as I'm learning to feel about who I am. I'm ever thankful to my fans for teaching me to love myself, no matter what. I have strived to be a contributor to the LGBTQ community throughout my entire career and always will be. Love, Rita. Chart topping artists Cardi B, BB Rexa, and Charlie XCX joined Rita to produce the track, which aims to project female empowerment as well as bisexuality and self love. However, the track has been met with criticism from artists from the LGBTQ community, with Haley Kiyoko branding the song as just downright tone deaf. The curious singer continued to express her opinions on social media last week, revealing that she believed the song does more harm than good for the LGBTQ community. The Los Angeles native added that she was overwhelmed with thoughts and felt a song like this just fuels the male gaze while marginalizing the idea of women loving women. She added, it's important for us artists to use our platforms to move the cultural needle forward, not backwards. Distraction hitmaker Kalani also revealed her thoughts on the song, stating, I have an incredible song out with one of the artists and would love to work with the other three as well.